Adulting is real. We're buying toilets now and sinks. Hello, today is February 24 and it's the first day of the renovation. <laughs> so many things happening. We just arrived from our one month trip yesterday. So just so many things going on, but we are very excited to finally, finally start this new project. This is what it looks like. This is the before. I'm gonna start with everything now. And this is Kenneth, Hello. our designer. He's very hands-on, as you can tell. He's always <laughs> here. Ah, handsome as well. <laughs> So what are we going to do today? What's the agenda for um, the first day? For the first day, what we'll do is we'll start upstairs. We'll demolish the wall, so we'll open up the the small bedroom, so we'll have it um, open for the office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the thing, and then um, they are going to prepare the walls, so repainting, putting some wall putty on the cracks and stuff like that. So. That's for today, and then eventually, as they go down, they will start to uh, um, remove the tiles. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. For now. Uh -uh. Good morning, po, mga kuya. Hello. <laughs> Hi, po. Hello, po, kuya. <laughs> si kuya, ang pangalan niya? Jody. Jody. Eh, kuya? George. George and? Ariel. Kuya Ariel. Ayan sila ang mga gagawa ng aming magandang bahay. Wow. Yan. So ngayon, we're going to remove this wall because it's only um, plywood and we want to make the space feel a bit bigger. Kaya papa tatanggal na namin yan. Nagtatanggal na rin sila ng mga pintuan. Ito yung magiging bedroom namin ni Martin. Tapos, ito naman yung extra. Kung may bisita kami, o kaya office ni Martin pag walang bisita. Yung ingatan mo yung Sarah. Siyempre, <laughs> lagi namin kasama. <laughs> ito, we still don't know if we'll be able to do this now. Let's see if we still have budget. In this project, we're going to do little by little depending on our budget. And we're going to be very hands-on. We didn't hire a contractor anymore because it's gonna be so expensive. <laughs> so, we hired workers that knows what they're doing, of course. Professional construction workers and they've been building some of the houses that are here in this subdivision so they know the ins and outs na ng bahay na to because they're also the ones who built this okay it is time consuming but we both think that it's better to do it hands on and buy the materials on our own so yeah and hopefully matapos siya within one or two months Martin and Kenneth are still there we still don't know what we're going to do with the backyard but that's the, I think, phase three of the project. Pensive. Magka budget na kami. So got your pearls hanging by my bedside. Still got your lips and paper in the trash now. So, you're removing the tiles in the toilet, the existing tiles, because we're going to replace it. But mainly the layout is the same. We're just changing all the wall tiles and then the floor tiles mm -mm. right now. Tapos we might also later we'll discuss maybe we'll uh, change as well the, the shower. shower. Mm -mm. Okay, next agenda is buying tiles ba? Tiles ba no, tayo? Uh, oh. Paints. Paints, okay. <laughs> okay, we're looking for toilets now. <laughs> Adulting is real. We're buying toilets now and sinks. Okay. And <laughs> Not clean tickets for... anymore. <laughs> I've been trying to bend loose since I barely was walking. I've been trying out to run my life because I need to be perfect. If I could just be a little better. We are, um, what you call this? Uh, getting two sets of paints right now. We are getting a flat wipe which will be used as a primer in all the walls. Every wall that we will put, whether it's a colored wall or it's going to be a white wall, we are going to put primer 
and then after we're getting also two white which is not really a white white color but it's going to be our finishing color for the walls that we will want it to be white so it's a bit white but not too much okay and uh, off white and how many do we need with right that? Right now, um, our contractor told us to get only four gallons each. Okay. So it's one pail like that. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. Like that. And yeah. it's about 689 pesos. No, the 681 is the one liter. Ay, ano ba yon? So one to? So times four. Time, okay. Pero because we're getting a pail, normally it's lesser. Ah, okay. So parang it will, it's, it will cost around three and a half. Ganyan. Okay. Good thing Kenneth is with us because we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, okay, let's buy the white one. The white color. We don't think of satin, man, gloss. I'm learning so much today from Kenneth. <laughs> basic, basic. Different <laughs> It's like semi-gloss. Okay. It's like a little bit. Ah. Okay, so we're having this. Okay, so what's next? So we're getting a skin coat. Skin coat is used to soften the, the walls. So normally we use it when you have a rough wall and then you want it to be a hollow block or yes. you put cement. And you put the skin coat to make it smoother oh, compared okay. to like finishing. directly yes. painting it. Then after yeah. you have to sand it and then gotcha. paint. So right now because there are some parts of the walls that are that needed to be smoothed, okay. we'll use the skin coat. Okay. Then they, have, they will paint after they will have to paint it. Finish it. Mm. So the skin coat. Yeah. It's like a wall party. <laughs> We've come to the most important part of the whole process, testing which toilet will make the region most happy. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. What? Feels good. Okay, next, next, next. Oh, 7 out of 10. Is it is it small? Is it big? This has your coffee. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this better. Yeah, this is more common. You have so many to test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, testing. Yeah, very good. It's your first time to buy a toilet. I don't buy things for myself anymore. I buy toilets. <laughs> Spill my coffee on the floor, but I don't really care. It's not the same, not anymore. There's no way. Yeah, and but good thing you're here. We, they already delivered the sun and the hollow block. And then this is the update after three hours. I think three hours. The cement is here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the cement. Ayan. Ah, ayan yung cement. Oh, we also ordered ah, that no, already. No, no, no. Open it's na open. siya. Let's see. Oy, ingat lang kasi madulas. <gasps> open oh my screen, gosh, no? wow. Wow. Totally different feel, no? Yeah. See? Now that the wall has been removed, it looks so much spacious now and light coming in the house. So I'm very happy about that. And they are slowly removing tiles here in the bathroom. They also just removed the toilet and the sink already. Wow, all in one day. And I had Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing the upstairs with the wall demolished. Really fascinating to see how much bigger it is. 
this makes me very excited. This is the stage where you can very quickly see progress. Yeah. Where you can see things are happening. And uh, if you've done some construction or refurbishing before, you know that there's a stage where it takes twice as much time, but that you don't really see any progress. It's that finishing touches. So the stage we're in now is always so much fun to block, but it's physically visible that you're heading in, getting where you want to be and making progress. Hi! Today is the fourth day of the renovation, and we're back here at the Home Depot with Kenneth. She's looking at the floor plan right now because today is buying the tiles day mm -mm. why do you need a floor plan no just to check because i already have like a cut like a number of tiles yeah but then for one tile one, one wall because we're putting an accent wall initially In the bathroom like my my size is 30 by 30 tiles, but we're changing it. Maybe but we might change. So I needed the reference for the wall. Okay. And then we will let them go. Okay. So, so we, well, floors for downstairs, be first floor. Wall and okay. What do you think though? What? What does your gut tell you? Like light or darker? I do like the light. Yeah, both of them are nice actually. I just don't know which one will fit best. Yeah, that's true. Things that we need to consider before buying floor tiles, of course. Is it pretty? The design? Is it nice? Kenneth said because we have a small bathroom, if we get a lighter tiles, it will brighten up the bathroom, making it look like it's bigger. And of course, the texture, is it rough yes, or is it very smooth because you don't want smooth tiles in the bathroom. You might slip, especially if you're prone to disgracia seeds. So, I think this one is the best option. I have to try. <laughs> okay, okay. Siya. Uh -oh. How much yung ganito, kuya? Two, 208 per piece. And this one doesn't have edge so it will look like as if it's some um, you know a concrete flooring and kuya is also helping us kung ilang tiles ang by two point this is a lot of tiles we're buying all of these and this like a little bit of that my god that's heavy they need to check it one by one to make sure there are no breakage, no broken pieces. Yeah, so we've been uh, now getting all the tiles fixed and we are looking at lights. There's so many components to this uh, refurbishment that we're doing and we're enjoying every process of it and we are also logging every expense so that in the future if we want to do it again we know exactly where we could save more money or where we need to spend a little bit more to get uh, a more nice finish. But we're very lucky that Kenneth is with us and guiding us through this entire process and it's really enjoyable to, to go through it and to get to that level where you're designing your first home. I don't know why you stress our single biggest purchase at once so far. You guys can see, um, they're counting over everything, making sure it's all right. So when you pay by cash, you get five percent discount. Mm. We got like 50 bucks discount. That's yeah. still a lot, like yeah. 2,500 pesos. Yeah. Construction site. 
side here in Cavite. <laughs> now they've finished uh, the walls. Like they're doing some finish on the walls before they're actually going to paint it. Make it smooth. And then this space is so cool. Like this used to be a bedroom, but we removed the wall and turned it into an upstairs living room. You know, if you bring your kids here, they can have like their own space up here watching cartoons while the adults are still downstairs. And we're also thinking of making it into a sleeping couch. It also has a window from here. <laughs> it's fun. It's so cool to be here and to witness this uh, construction in person. You can see here they're also um, yeah, doing things at the bathroom and they've also covered up where the old air conditioned unit used to be. So we're making progress. I'm so scared of this. Yeah. There's no railing yet. Yeah, all that has a history of falling down things. We're making a headache in our designer's head because we're changing things as we go. Yeah, we're giving you a headache, Kenneth. <laughs> I'm changing some plants in the middle of the everything, but he says he can fix it. This is the thing when you are doing it yourself. Yeah. You are like, maybe this is nice. Like all of a sudden things change. And like, yeah. You get a You just do the design. You oversee things. Uh -uh. You, yeah. So very so guys, for our bathroom, we are trying to find some very special tiles because we have an idea to mix, uh, to have something called an accent wall which means one of the walls will be in a completely different tile than the rest of the other walls and we discovered this really cool store called Mosaico where we have a much more special selection as you guys can see so this is the store and they have even these big, like if you're doing a kitchen, this is where you go. Look at that, beautiful, really nice. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Go and you look like that Good morning everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of me and Ava's home renovation vlog series here in the Philippines. Today we're gonna give you some exciting updates. We've had a lot of progress done on the house and um, Ava is uh, unfortunately on the dentist this morning. So I'm kicking off episode 3 for you guys. Okay, gotta start this vlog by introducing our designer for those of you who haven't seen episode 1 and 2. This is Kenneth. Hello. <laughs> everyone. And it is the one helping us design everything. He is very hands-on in this whole process. He designed 3D renders and models and he really knows how to analyze the blueprints, show that to contractors so that they can do everything correctly. Kenneth is, uh, has the overall vision design, like how we're gonna look, so I trust him with my life too. <laughs> so much pressure. <laughs> to make sure we get all the color schemes and everything correctly. One of the biggest things we are going to see progress on today is the kitchen. We built an entire new kitchen next to our house. So there wasn't a kitchen inside before. It was an outdoor kitchen, which is kind of popular and common here in the Philippines. So we want it inside. So we're also buying some new concrete slabs, like real granite, not like the cheap tiles. We're really putting some nice finishing touches to this project. What do you think, Kenneth? Is this the one? <laughs> yeah. What Martin says, putting a granite on top instead of tiles, yeah. because it will add um, until like a nicer touch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so here you go, you guys go. Look at this. It looks like a real kitchen. Right. It looks it will... like a real kitchen counter. I agree. I yeah. agree. It's, it's like important. a working kitchen counter. Av is gonna be very happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the things we buy, since they are of size, we also need them to either have them delivered to our home or to also order installments that they come and install the items for us. <laughs> so Kenneth is filling out the application forms and it usually takes three to seven days before you to arrive at home. Yeah. 
Hey guys, we have arrived at the house. Like a native concept. Yeah, it will be good, I think. Yeah. I, the different lamps. I think so. I hope so. Okay. Guys, I'm very excited to look at the house today. They've done some exterior painting, as you can see. Beautiful. Wow, look at that change in color. It's now so, almost looks brand new. Beautiful. Slowly by slowly, we pick these up in Pangasinan, actually. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. Look at that change from white to that color before. It's hard to see it sometimes, you know, unless you see it against something. Ooh, all the old tiles have been removed. Yes, sir. Very cool. And the ceiling, as you guys can see, it's uh, almost complete with electricity, new down lights. Oh, and what we actually are most excited about is to have a look at the kitchen. I think we might have to see it from the outside. Wow. Oh my God, now there's even a roof. Very cool. And here you can see how they hide the electricity under the tiles. Here he comes. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, the, the kitchen, it's coming together. Yeah, fun to see. You know? I'll just use the phone. Okay, kitchen. We got a roof now. We got, we're building the other countertop over there. It's a 50-50. 50? Yeah, 50. Like this? Yeah. Just, just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Very something cool. Something like this. So the countertop that we saw earlier in this vlog is gonna go on top there and on top there granite You know the fridge in the corner a gas stove here slash electrical There's gonna be a door here and glass windows leading out to the backyard, which currently looks like <laughs> <laughs> a Backyard yeah construction site uh, Very nice, so that's how they do it when they put outlets they kind of dig into the wall And they put this uh, so we're getting a TV here upstairs. We're gonna actually make cabinets on this wall here. TV? It could work like that, I think. I think our TV is like this big. Yeah, right? so it will work actually. Okay. <laughs> cool, and then anything in here? No, not yet. Okay, well, progress, progress is being made. Uh -huh. So there you go. <laughs> we're <trying> to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Checking some... The lamps we brought. We got it from where? Hey guys, the Kuyas are watching episode one of the construction. <laughs> it's fun to see yourself on the video. <laughs> guys, this is how they transfer the trash. <laughs> it's a tricycle trash car. <laughs> All right, well, that works. That will have to work. Thanks for today, Kenneth. Thank you. Boom. See you soon. Nahirapan sila kuya. Bakit kayo nahirapan kuya? Kasi Magigat may awang. Magigat may awang. Ah, mabigat. Ano bang wood to? Ah, ano yan? Mahuba niya ata to. Mm. Anong problema? May awang dito. Ah, ah, ma mas malaki po yung ano, pinto. Ah. Para sa ah, okay, okay. Uh, yes, well, na naman po talaga. May, uh, oo. Hmm. Ganda ng pinto, oh. We still haven't decided if we're gonna keep this like natural color and just put a varnish. So Kenneth messaged me to make it wet and see how it's gonna look like when we put some varnish. Okay naman, no? Mm. Sa tingin mo? Iba kulay noon, ayun lang. Uh, yeah, so, mga ganito. Oo. Ah, yan yung mga ganyan, okay lang. Pero ito parang medyo maitim eh, no? Uh, maitim, same. no? So, ano sa tingin mo, kuya, mas okay pagka pinunturahan na lang yan, no? Okay lang din ang pinturahan, pwede rin yung varnish. Kung varnish, ano, dark talaga. Oo. Uh -oh. Kasi kung natural tayo, kitang-kita lahat yan. Oo. Uh -oh. oh, sige, sige. Pag-uusapan namin ni Kenneth. Uh, Ayan na, the stairs is starting to look like um, stairs. <laughs> Oh, diba? We won't be putting any doors here because I wanted the space to look bigger. So, ayan, medyo open, not open kitchen. From the dining area to the kitchen, there won't be a door anymore. Para mas madali din, diba? Ayan na, may paint na! Ala, ayan na yung door din. Tiles, not the 
Ang galing. Ayan, kaya kaya siya ano um anito? Ganyan kasi meron siyang bigla na gay queer. So sorry na excited ako eh. Gonna put a drawer here so ayan, hindi siya magiging awkward. We're gonna place a cabinet here. They also just painted the walls, the accent walls. Ayan. We bought this in Pangasinan. I don't know if you know, but yeah, Tapos, here is the bathroom reveal. May ilaw na to kuya. Ay ayan. Natin ang ilaw. Tenen, yes, gold. Wow, gold. So the tiles were installed really well. Ang ganda nung tiles o. Oh. Ayan. So din nawa nila to inano nila to in extend nila. They extended this one. Ay may isa lang na. Hindi kumalat This is the accent wall for the bedroom. Ayan na. So I don't know if I showed this to you, but this side has like some rust. And now sila kuya Judy they replaced it with a new one and it looks brand new again you know so this side ayan na ato na pinturahan na no kuya wow they also repainted the outside everything outside has been repainted and actually this is the thing i didn't know that they're gonna cut the trees if i only knew I wouldn't have let them do that, but then can't do anything about it anymore. So that's that. I don't know if this is going to be replaced. I still forgot. I need to talk to Kenneth. But other than that, it's a nice. Uh, it's getting. It's coming along. You know. I am so happy. Okay, so we have a slight problem in this uh, sliding door because there is an awang and there's like a space there's still a space here that we need to figure out how to cover that um, initially we thought it's gonna be fine but these are the problems that we will always find solution there's always a solution in every problem we gotta keep moving forward so with the pendant lights that we bought from pangasinan i'm not actually so sure how i feel about it it's kind of like yeah it's nice but kind of lacks the oomph feeling that I wanted, that I thought that I will get when I saw this light. So, you know what? We learn. We learn. So, in this space is going to be an extra room. It's actually a living room, uh, an entertainment area, working desk over here. We're thinking of putting a sofa bed here instead so that, you know, us Filipinos, when we gather, we're a lot of people. So, it's just a nice place where people can also sleep in if you're in a big group or family. Still haven't installed the glass railings here, but we're gonna purchase that later on. And it says that it might take up to two weeks. The floors are almost done. And with this flooring, we're still not sure if we have enough budget to get like a PVC use a PVC because that's going to be a little bit more expensive or just retile it completely just like once in the first floor yeah and that is the update for the second floor and this is the kitchen update can't go outside because they just place the tiles this is what it looks like now we have a roof already installed and they're gonna put the granite very soon i think it's gonna be delivered today i'm not so sure when it's going to be installed but this is the open kitchen for now and i'm so excited to cook here and some people asked in the first video or second episode that where are we going to put the exhaust yes we are going to put some exhaust so for those of you who are watching this i know you are excited i know you want to give some input but i appreciate if you can respect our decision and our own design on our first tiny home Ayan. and they also just removed the the shelves here we're gonna place new ones later on Ayan na. this is the living area living room still not sure what we're gonna paint or we're gonna keep it white walls for now okay now they are discussing with doors and there are two more doors to be installed and then so lunch time kami ni mama my favorite i always order this the house special set because it has spaghetti chicken and 
and the tacos rest. The workers are currently on their lunch break and also have to go to a hardware store to buy some things, like some other things, and go back there in like an hour or two. By the way, I bought myself like some paint uh, things. <laughs> Ayan, painting. I don't know, I just feel like I want to paint. <laughs> I want to try something new. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to draw a lot and paint. And I haven't done this in a while. So, let's see if I'm good or not. If not, I don't want to put it in the house. But if it's good, I'll put it in the house. We'll see. I wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold Okay, the kuya said to buy the 8 inches exhaust fan for the bathroom and these are the two choices and preferably aesthetically pleasing is this one which is a little bit more expensive I think yeah 200 pesos more expensive than this one and the kuya also said here at the hardware store that this one is more silent than this one because I know this one can be a little annoying definitely I'm gonna get this one but they have to check if they still have some stocks left so hopefully Meron pa. I think the best part about buying your own equipment or hardware or things for the home is to get to see it and understand what are the difference of like the brands or other fans like this than just like in photos. So okay. Hi, Kuya George. Hi, Kuya Marty. Ayan na ang pintuan. Check na ako. Pakasya. George, sa pagkita ito. Okay. Okay. Bye, old door. Yeah, this is the old door. Kaso malumanas, cah, may mga mold siya. That's why we changed it to a new one in a fresher design. Okay, now I'm gonna check out the kitchen. We're gonna enclose this. We still have to buy the doors. Yeah, and the glass doors for this. I think this will be the last part of the construction is the kitchen. And then we've already decided on the burners that we're gonna buy, like the size of it. We still haven't bought it because um, we're just waiting for some budget, you know? But yeah. And then the granite will be installed hopefully by tomorrow. The exhaust will be here as well. There will be an exhaust fan here. The refrigerator will be on that side. I can't really go inside because they just placed the tiles here. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the update of this area. Hi, I'm back here in our condo. And I have so much stuff to do. I arrived yesterday from Hong Kong. I didn't really have the time to relax and you know what I mean? Um, so my first full day is also with the construction and I also did some groceries. I usually am the one who do the who does the groceries, cooking and the cleaning. So Martin usually does the going to the laundry and um, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you a secret. I'm exhausted. I, I'm the type of person who doesn't really deal with stress that good. And today I, I get overwhelmed by things that I get. Some other things, it like to make the long story short, I am everywhere and I cannot focus. And I get just 
lose the drive you know to keep on pushing but i know i have to because it's for my future but then again what's the point of doing so much when you are sick and that's what makes you see the things that you did from the past the reason why i don't know but anyway i don't know what i'm talking about i still need to clean the place my camera has been very annoying lately this camera has been with me for i think five years and it's slowly like literally slowly dying um the focus is just like in and out you know she is exhausted like me and uh, martin is on his way home came from shargao i came yesterday from hong kong and the house is a mess uh, we don't have someone clean it up. I'm gonna do that before he gets home though so that you know It's nice to come home to a nice place like just even for a bit and yeah, and I also need to cook some dinner That is the update and I really enjoyed seeing the progress of our tiny home I was able to buy new things also which I'm very excited about I always tell myself to try out new things every year Whether it's like an old flame love affair of painting Of like buying thrifted clothes or just like, you know Things that makes me happy that kind of distracts me away from my work or that doesn't really align with my work if you know if that makes sense so yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me bestie i know it's um overwhelming for you as well and i'm all over the place but thank you for always being there and just it's nice to talk to someone about your feelings right and your frustrations because it feels good to let it out and to know that you are aware of these things and it's just it's just nice so thank you and i really appreciate for you that for not judging me and supporting me in every way i love you i will see you on the next vlog bye i love you Mwah. will be done they said after a few days this is their last week with us what I'm most excited about What's happening? We're gonna buy, um, you know, the sink, the bathroom sink. Cabinets? It's like a cabinet. Yeah. I don't know what you call it. There's a certain uh, name for that. So that's what we're gonna buy for today. And then after that, we're gonna check out our home and see what's the update of our house renovation. I think this is the last week of construction workers. And hopefully, it's gonna be pretty. <laughs> look for that um, cabinet for the bottom of the, the bathroom sink. I can't seem to find it here. Today we need to buy two bathrooms.
bathroom cabinets under the sink and one sink for the bathroom downstairs. So we decided to buy this one, this sink, and this cabinet for the bathroom downstairs. So we need to buy the closet separately and we want it color black. So for the bathroom upstairs, we decided to get these. The second floor bathroom is uh, smaller, so we need a smaller cabinet. Very good job, we did. It, it always, it'll always work well with everything. Yeah, life. I agree. Making progress. I think I've seen this uh, pendant light in most Airbnbs that we've stayed in, and it's 2,500 pesos. The other day, my family and I went to Pangasinan buy some pendant lights, and it's only for 750 pesos. Oliva, I'm gonna show that to you later on. Let's pay now. Had me down for the count. I was on nine nine all the time. Shouted so you took control. Some baon! Martin is hungry, so I'm gonna feed him while he's driving. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. This is the rattan pendant light that I was telling you about that we bought in Manawag, Pangasinan for 750 pesos. There are a lot of um, different designs but we chose the round one instead. So it's just like a little simple. We bought some food for the kuyas, bucket of chicken joy because who doesn't love chicken joy? The crisp delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yeah. The car is full. Thank you, Mama and Papa, for always lending us the car. And, diba? Perfect. Yeah, we're very fortunate. We're almost there. Oh my wow. It smells so good. I kind of want to get one. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I always bring food for the construction workers whenever we visit the site. I don't know. I think I just grew up with that. I always see my mom, my dad my aunt, my grandmother, grandfather, always uh, give merienda to the construction workers. So it's also just a, a nice, you know, way to say thank you. I think thank you is not enough. It's always with food, diba? Right? <laughs> just my sense. But it's not a requirement, you know. Just wanted to say thank you for doing all of the hard work for us. And they're pretty fast. It's been a month and we're done. We're almost done. Hi, Kuya! Hello! Hello! Nag-lunch na kayo? Ilang kayo dyan? Hello! Hello! Ah, nagilinis! Naman sila ko sa maganda sa bahay. Hi, Kuya! Anong name niya po? Carbin po. Garbin? Hello po! Ayan na! Ano basa yung pinto ah? Ay basa! Apo, sabihin nyo po siya. Martin, the door is wet ha? Wow, ayan na ang pinto! Hello po! Hi! Pwede mo pumasok. Wow, ayan na nililinisan na! Oh, the door is done! Wow, the door has been varnished! Pretty! That's so pretty! You like? Yes. Look at that. Perfect. And then this is the bathroom. They're also cleaning the bathroom already. Bagong ban ano na to toilet? Ako ba? Ito na yung bago. Ako. Yan. And then we're gonna put the sink very soon. And what I'm most excited about? The kitchen. Wow. Oh look, because we have an extra like this. They put it there. 
love it. They also just installed this yesterday. Yeah. And the sink, look. Swatter na. And uh, we bought these tiles last week in Ortigas. Yeah. And now it's been yeah. done. They made it look really yeah. nice. Look at that. The lights has already been installed. We bought that last week. And this one. So my closure now. So our kitchen is now closed. I was wow. so stressed about wow. this last week. Wow. Wow. Out to the, the back. garden. Yeah. But that's a different phase. That's another yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> so slowly, slowly, you know, phase one. And then here we're going to have a... Uh, Look, our cabinets are being made already. Yeah. And a fridge and a stove yeah, on the other side. Yeah, we still haven't bought a fridge and a stove. And they just painted this. Yeah, and the shelves will come afterwards. Yeah, let's see if the pendant light will look good. Is it the uh, right amount? Oh, yeah! Nice! Better. It's bigger. Diba? Yeah. Nice. All right. The moment of truth. Will the sink fit? Sixty two unit. Ayun lang. Ayun no. Sixty ah, so bra. So bra. So bra. Oh. namin. Oh. We can't, we have to change the sink. Okay. Then we need to pack it back. Oh. That's too big. It's too big of it. What do you think? Or it's not that bad. Oh. It's too big. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sige, we sige. need to change it. Alright. It is what it is. Going upstairs. Hi, Kuya George. Hi. Hi. Kuya George is painting the outside door. Yeah, it's turning out really good. Yes. Oh wow, varnished doors up here too. Actually here it looks really beautiful against this dark green background. Wow. And we have the gold. The Moroccan, Anna. The Moroccan shower. Yes. We yes. want you to feel like you're in Morocco. Yeah. We're installing the air condition very soon here. And this also turned out really good. This is like a Kuya solution. <laughs> This is one of the pendant lights. Nice. That we bought in uh, from the That's nice, babe. Yeah. And I love how the doors turn out. Yeah. Try nice. to close it. There you go. There you go. I love it. And then the railing it has been painted black now, yeah. so that's the latest updates. Yeah. This one, it's, they still need to fix this. Yeah. This one. So we ran out of budget for the, the glass, glass here. Yeah. So no kids are allowed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Until we can so, afford the glass. Yeah. Maybe next month. Easy. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. Mm. Something about the way you move makes me want to feel your glow. Something about the way you miss me. to have these things replaced because not the countertop but the drawer below the sink and the sink doesn't fit the bathroom on the first floor so we had to have these replaced as we were buying it two days ago we were talking to our designer and he said yeah it's gonna fit it's gonna fit but apparently upon checking it on site it didn't really fit and it just feels so narrow everything feels so narrow so we need to have it replaced. So yeah, those are the things that you might encounter when you do your own construction. Going back and forth in these warehouse shops, in these um, construction places is 
very time consuming. Our designer hasn't been with us for three weeks so it actually added a lot of pressure for me to talk to the construction workers and do all of the like, buying things one-on-one -on -one. and it's just like yeah that's how it is we chose not to have a contractor and we wanted to do it on a budget that is why these things are happening but keeping my head up high that we're gonna finish soon the workers will be done they said after a few days this is their last week with us any work after this week will be paid extra okay now let's go sink and cabinet bathroom shopping all right here. This is our first time to exchange an item. We'll see how it goes. We'll let you know. Yeah, I think that's the drawer. This one is the sink. So we've already exchanged the sink and the cabinet. Now we have to buy a sink in a different store, different hardware store, and the stuff that we also need with the sink, like the faucet, pit trap. Um, drain and so many things um, but the thing is the challenge is we need to find a drain that is color black or ceramic or ceramic white or yeah that's it because our faucet needs to be black as well that has to go well with the shower and the bidet on the second bathroom downstairs all my thoughts are running running around inside my head Emotions keep coming They're keeping me from thinking straight Thought it would be different We made it Hi, good evening This is our first time to go here during night time Hello, Kuya It's our first time to be here during night time Ayan sila, Kuya Still working Ayan na Got the faucet here There weren't any faucet here before Night lang Parang na guys Maganda Hi, Kuya. Hello. Hi, Kuya. Hi, Kuya. Marty. Hi, na ang pendant light. Nakabit na. And sila, Kuya, naayos na nila yung mga bintana. Ayan. This is the update. Okay. You've seen this the other day. This is our first time to go here during night time. So, uh, it's also our first time to see the uh, lights. Ayan. Ito pa. Ayan. Ayan, yung light. So, don't worry. We're gonna put some cabinets here. We're waiting for it maybe two to three weeks. Tarating na siya. Ayan. This is what it looks like at night. And then we bought some stuff. That's why na late kami. Because it's super traffic. We've been stuck in traffic and just with errands. So many things that we needed to buy. But hopefully, pakonti, pakonti na lang. Malapit na. Ayan. And this is the bathroom. Ayan. We still need to put the sink and the cabinet. Let's go upstairs. Let me show you. Okay. Ay, ah, dyan pala yung ilaw yan. Ah, okay. Yeah. This is the upstairs area. The door has already been painted. this aircon here they had to make this wooden board so the window kind of continues behind it but I think it turned out really, yeah, really good it's not obvious no mm -hmm. it turned out great mm -hmm. good job Kuya good job Kuya Marty <laughs> 
There you go. Air condition installed. you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you both speed in my heart is pacing but i'm not sure i want to pace it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension moving to the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true will show to you what has been done. The construction has been like, I would say 90% done. We still have some cabinets to be installed, um, maybe in a few weeks or days, hopefully. It's been uh, almost two months since we started this renovation. And yeah, I'll just, I'll just show it to you. Let's go. So first off, this is what the house looks like from the outside. Everything has been repainted from the roof to the railings to like everything and um, there was an incident also that some people stole these kind of like, tiles or bricks yeah so the thing is since this is a subdivision we need to abide a style you know uh, we cannot change the whole layout of the outside but we can from the inside so yeah now i'm very happy that there are no pache pache or no holes anymore it looks nice and clean we've installed some cctv already and hi martin hi everyone hi and this is our garage mm. This will be our garage. I want to see if the truck can fit inside. Okay, we'll check it out later. Mm. And then we still have to do some landscaping once we got, get some budget. This is what the garden looks like. They replanted a malunggay tree again. They cut it unfortunately because it was like growing so high already. But yeah, once we have enough budget in the future maybe in a few months or even a year we will take care of all of this yeah yeah next steps yeah <laughs> so because our budget only is for the house renovation inside so as you can see the tiles have already been replaced it looks so nice and clean yeah and look guys we got a smart lock now and it's really cool because we can uh, control it with an app so if there's a new tenant or you want to change the code, you can do that from the app. It's really nice. This is also a new door. We bought this door because the last one we had um, was already deteriorating. So we decided to just replace it and paint it in all white. Just like the same white as the outside. So it kind of blends in. These are the pendant lights that I bought in Pangasinan, the bigger one. So it looks better. For the living area, we won't be using this couch. This is my mom, so I, I don't know what she's going to do with that. Yeah, we still haven't bought our own couch yet, but hopefully very, very soon. And they've also replaced this. Let's turn on the lights. Turn on the lights, yes. So the lights are all working. I'm very happy about that. We still don't have an air condition unit here in the first floor because we wanted a bigger one, bigger than the one upstairs because sometimes it gets really, really hot here. Yeah. You know, especially during summertime like now. And this is already my grandma and mom's dining table. Yeah. That we might just reupholster the chairs for now. Mm -hmm. We can paint it too, I guess. Yeah. Or put like a sour on top. Yeah. We'll fix it. We will work on what we have. So this area is supposed to have some like closet and shelves, but we will do that on the second face of this house renovation. Another thing that I'm very happy about are these barn doors. 
because it just saves so much space and yeah like look at that and it just glides so smooth i love it we decided to just keep the natural color of the wood because it more looks more raw right and it looks more tropical i would say another thing is some of you have been asking some people are wondering actually in this series how did we get this house and all this is actually my grandmother and grandfather's house but since no one has been living here she gifted it to us for our first home in the philippines with martin as newlyweds so thank you mama and grandma for this very generous gift and we decided to renovate it from our past savings for the last years that we've been doing youtube content creation okay now let's move forward to the bathroom there are two bathrooms in casa solhagen we still don't know what we're gonna name her yet and this is the first one yeah it turned yeah. out pretty nice yeah so i was like i me and martin was looking at these tiles these bathroom tiles at the home depot and we just automatically said like this is giving us like the vibe of martin and abby we like Tropical countries, we like, yeah, you know, it's perfect. the beach. So it just feels like as if we're, you know, in the tropics still, being home. We decided to buy a black shower and faucet. It has a heater because, you know, sometimes it can get really cold. It's just nice to have a hot shower at the end of like a very stressful day. As you can see, the toilets have been installed mm -hmm. specifically said i need a bidet yeah i don't like airbnbs or hotels that doesn't have this yeah. if you don't have it at your home you're missing a lot you're missing out <laughs> yeah so this from the past episode i think you've seen i'm not sure if you saw on the last episode we've been very frustrated to find the perfect vanity cabinet for the first floor bathroom and yeah it's here it is. <laughs> and actually how we solved it is that the Kuyas extended it in the back, as you guys can see there. And we also got black faucet that matches the shower and the bidet. Yay! Yay! Good job! <laughs> also the exhaust And the these for towels. I think a yeah. lot of people forget to install these. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, where can I hang my towel? Or like, where can I hang the clothes that I will be wearing after I shower, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so this is how you close it. Yeah, yeah. from the inside. The nice from the inside, locked. like this. And you lock it. Oh, wait. Like that. There you go. There you go. They put it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's head over to the kitchen. Kitchen area, you guys? Yes, as uh, you've seen on the first episode, there's literally nothing in here it's like just an open like dirty kitchen supposed to be there's really not an existing kitchen in this house when my grandmother gave it to us so we decided oh this spot is perfect to have a kitchen yeah. so finally here it is Woo! it's so spacious yet because we're still waiting for the cabinets and the drawers yeah. to be installed hopefully by this week we've ordered it from late yeah. actually it's custom our, yes custom and we're very excited for you guys to see it yeah that's gonna be the touch now yes, the filipino be touch a refrigerator here which we still have to buy there's gonna be a stove here i think i spent most of the time in the kitchen and in the bedroom so i have to make sure that this space is represent or is a reflection of me mm -hmm. and how i want it you know yeah so the kitchen counter has been installed as well a countertop mm -hmm. um, this is just like a whole slab and the wheels were able to you know uh, drill it or whatever cut it and voila here is i'm really proud of those tiles in the back yeah look at i'm so happy that there are two sinks yeah so big. like because when i do the dishes i wanted to the, the dirty dishes here and the clean ones once i do it to put it here right so yeah that's gonna be it. underneath here there will be another like drawer to be installed so this one won't be visible here is the i would say the windows so we decided to do a windows here instead of like covering it with wood or you know a cement 
just because the kitchen needs to have a lot of light yeah. not just this light we will be installing this like some led lights once the drawers have been installed so that's another thing it's nice that you can see like plants there yeah it kind of it's the Hi, it does. Girl. It's like oh, happy here. It's very yeah. tropical and nice. Mm -hmm. One thing that about like these styles, we had to travel all the way to the other side of Metro Manila, brave the traffic just for these specific tiles and we're very happy how it turned out it's just really us you know yeah. even if we're on a budget it still looked really nice i agree i you think know, it, it was still looks too sharp a good move yeah now let us move forward to the second floor but before that let me show you our uh, stairs <laughs> i've never been so happy with with seeing a stairs before yeah yeah it's just the same tiles that we use from the first floor flooring yeah we decided to just like you know a unity mm -mm. keep it simple these ones have been installed as well the uh the railings but we still have to put glass here once we get more budget yeah <laughs> yeah Okay, now let's go. But it's okay, I think. Um, yes, it looks I mean, nice. It's just for the safety of the kids, you know. I always thought that you had to have enough money right from the get-go to do a project like this, but you don't really. You can take it, you know, over time, month by month, and it, it, it's really possible to do it that way. So that's kind of what we're doing. We had some money saved, but now we realize we need to save a little bit more. And then over time, eventually it's gonna be done. Yes, so the layout of the stairs is just the same one as before. We just retiled it and made sure that the tiles are also like the flooring is not so glossy or what do you call that like slippery because i always fall down the stairs so yeah now welcome to the second floor of casa solhagen <laughs> this used to be its own bedroom there was a wall here that makes the house feel smaller once that we talked to our designer I said we need to get rid of this wall over here because it's just making the place look cramped so I'm very happy that it's all gone and we changed it into these railings just looks more spacious this is going to be um, kind of like an entertainment or lounging area where guests can watch movies chill work and we are planning to buy a sofa bed if we find the right one a sofa bed that can also turn as a bed space an additional bed space for our guests mm -hmm. so yeah yeah we decided to still keep the green because green is like just gives that earthy vibe mm, to it. Yeah. Yes, and we've installed more plugs because as for us, when we stay in like hotels, we're always looking for plugs and a trip where we can charge our gadgets. Sometimes it's not enough. That's why we bring cord, an extension cord. But here, you don't have to worry about where will you plug your stuff because there's always one available in every like almost corner if you can see yeah yeah there's one here one there's another one here and there are two here yeah yeah so yeah basically here if you're sitting down and you can just plug it for your laptop and watch tv and work at the same time yes so this one was also bought in pangasinan we try to buy things as local as much as possible, but give it a little Scandinavian twist to it, Ooh, minimalist, for the because it is a representation of my culture and Martin's culture. Yeah. Yes. Now let's move forward to the second bag. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember. So from the last episode, we are still thinking of how can we close this barn door properly because there was um, like a small hole here but now the Kuyas put like a slab of wood here painted in white just like the same as the walls that didn't make it feel like it's just it turned out yeah. really really nice I yeah. did not think they were going to solve it that yeah. well that is so smart look at that I can see that's so smart look at that yes <laughs> yeah, and then here there will be a cabinet here. That's why the bar door kind of extends to here because there will be a cabinet here. Hopefully next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
So excited about that. Welcome to the second bathroom. This one is smaller than the bigger bathroom downstairs, but I think this is also like the master's bathroom because yeah. the master's bedroom is just right here. And come on in, come on in. They've already installed the toilet, and this is the vanity table, vanity closet with very nice green sink again mm -hmm. with a golden faucet accent mm -hmm. and this one too mm -hmm. very nice so it's still almost the same layout as the first bathroom downstairs but in this bathroom we decided to change the tiles to a moroccan tiles to give this bathroom a little pop of color and textures we also replaced the shower to a gold one and the bidet to a gold one as well so that the faucet, the shower, and the bidet are all in uniform we even bought these gold these are genius yeah. because people don't have to bump in yes. unless they want to use them mm -hmm. so I think this was a genius solution for an already little tight bathroom yes the way that they can just hold like that mm -hmm. found those in Ikea I think yes you can see it also has a heater so that when we can shower, you know, it's hot. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's the upstairs that's bathroom. That's the upstairs bathroom. Okay, now let's move forward to the master's bedroom. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Hello. Hello. Nice, check that Hello. out. Yes, so this is where we'll be sleeping once we found a nice bed. Yeah, that we can still afford. looking for one. <laughs> Still, still looking for one, so if you guys have any suggestions for a good mattress, please comment below. Yeah, green accent but in a different tone, different like green color, still white because I just love having a white wall. It makes everything look clean, minimal. I can put some art pieces here and there, you know, without making it look like it's too much and another thing is the pendant light is the same one as the lounging area second floor lounging area we've already installed this air conditioned here because this was also a gift from my mom it is big and it has horsepower that can cool the entire first floor you know so yeah so we decided to just have it first here so once we buy the bed frame and the mattress we can finally sleep here. Let's check out the veranda, last but not the least. Let's go. Okay, so this door is also brand new. We bought four doors, four new doors for this house renovation because some of the doors has alloy getting rotten, so we needed to replace it. Okay, so Mm. Mm -hmm. This is our veranda. Wow. We are planning to do something here once, you know, like in a few months. We're doing everything step by step. And this one is not really the priority. We'll get We're there. Get, we'll get there. Have a beautiful yeah. tree here. Yes. This is the view. I think this is guava tree. This one has also been replaced the yeah. railings because it was rusting before. They repainted it as well. Mm -mm. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice vibe here, a nice breeze. Over here from the second floor, veranda, you can also see the garden. Okay, now let's see if the truck will fit in the garage. Oh, it does! I think it does! Yay! It fits, I think, just enough, just right. <laughs> By the way, this truck was rented from Hertz Philippines. They have different branches all over the Philippines and we specifically rented it from BGC. But it was sent to our house actually. So good service if you're looking for a car rental in the Philippines. Check out Hertz Philippines. So, yeah, it just all, fits. All I needed to see is that if I buy a truck like this, that it can still fit. If you buy a truck. I mean, uh, obviously, I could even back it a little bit more, yeah. but uh, there's still some things. Let's see the other side. This is me. Just right. <laughs> okay, the other side. Let's see if uh, we can fit. 
Ah, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Can yeah, it? we can. Actually, this works. Mm -hmm. It works. Mm -hmm. So even people with a big trunk. Can yeah. All right. Happy? Getting somewhere. Yeah. Good job. Getting somewhere slowly, slowly. Okay, so my mom really wants this couch, and we're trying to figure out how we can carry it to the back of the truck. Let's see. Okay, let's go, Team Marve. I can get it up. you guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching the house renovation update episode i think this is the sixth one and martin is leaving very soon so i will be the one taking over of the episodes see you guys on the next one bye show me love show me love